50 is going to be a big deal. It's going to be, I'm always going to remember when I turn 50. So we're doing it up. Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel today. Well, welcome back to the vlog, but today is Tuesday for me. So I have a live sale today, but I ran over to our friend, John and Jane. This is their building. They've sold their building. Um, and they have they're having an auction uh in in next week or in two weeks i'll put the date up and i'll put all the information about the auction in the listing but i just wanted to show you a little bit the building is sold and they're selling everything on the inside so just wanted to give you a little bit of a there's some pieces oh i me zoom out some pieces of furniture this beautiful dining room table here, lots of stuff. I've gone through and I picked out a few little things, um, but all kinds of stuff. And they've got, they still have to unload all of these boxes out there. We've got some genie bottles. We've got a lot of Fenton, um, just a lot of pieces, some electrical equipment. There are dolls, there's vintage toys. There are, there is this cast iron. Um, a few pieces of Pyrex, long burger, dolls, toys, dolls, plates, glassware, cookie jars, some Hummels, lots of things, some vintage lamps. But again, all these boxes are still full of items. They're still trying to get it all out and displayed before the auction starts. But I wanted to come over and take a peek and that way you guys can see it too. If you are near the Bedford, Indiana area, you wanna to come to an auction. There's some Florence ceramics over there. So make sure that you come if you are able. All right, I gotta get back to the shop. I have to my two sales today and well, that's pretty much it. Just the two sales today. All right, let's get back to the shop. All right, I'm back at the shop now. And I thought, well, I should probably just show you everything that I got. Um, the things that I picked out. This really cute left-in Siamese cat planter. Um, this very mid-century modern long neck cat. Uh, not sure who made it. I I, I'm trying, I'm, I think that he's supposed to have jeweled eyes, I think. But I still liked the glaze on that. Um, also, this little cat here. Some of these will be in the, these little things will be in a buyer's choice sale over on Vamp. Um, you are a very dirty, dirty, dirty poodle. We're going to get you cleaned up, buddy. You need a bath. Um, these little shakers, they are a Nesco. One of the little dogs has a little bit of a boober on his ear. But I still thought he was really, really 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 cute so i got the et extraterrestrial card games i don't know if it's complete or not i gotta count them but i thought if anything i can use them as package toppers home because i'm having a retro sale retro roundup sale at least once a month over on virtual antique marketplace where i'm gonna have like this kind of retro stuff um as well as like this adams family Again, I gotta count the pieces, but this is from the 90s. Oh, I mean, and it has the cards. I don't know if it's complete. I've got to count, but look at the tray. It's shaped like a coffin. We do have the dice. Find Uncle Fester. So again, if it's not all there, I can at least have enjoyment of looking at all the cards. Um, also, I got a uh, EduCards Mickey Mouse card game. These card dominoes, they are in the box. Open! Goodness gracious. I don't know, I just I, don't, I just liked them. <laughs> just liked them, I don't know. I'll have to count them to see if they're all there. This I thought was really cool. It's the Lion King, it's from the 90s. It does have the instructions, so we'll count those and see if those are complete, but those are just a, a memory. And then this little game here, I don't know anything about it. It just intrigued me. It's a sardine. It's missing a lot of this, but it's a sardine can puzzle. I don't know. But then it says, can you put them all back in the can? But you have to close it. There's only a certain way that you can do it. 
I don't know. It just, it was, in, it intrigued me. So I got that. And then look, this is a Wade Whimsy. It's a little cat, meow, meow, or a little snow leopard. Bear cub. Okay. But it's in the box. I, I don't know. You don't ever find them. It is in there. See? He's in there. There. So this little face. You don't ever find them in the box. And then the this is a, just a little toothpick holder or votive. I'll put them in my um, tiny treasure sale Tuesdays on Vamp. This little Fenton bell that says mother on it. It is signed. It's hand painted. Um, this is a Fenton cat with a porcelain uh, applied rose. And I haven't seen this pose before. So got that. Um, a little California pottery cat. Meow, meow. These mushroom salt and pepper shakers. These are from great from the 70s, from the 80s. Um, Miss Piggy. Love puts a twinkle in your eye. That's going to go in a tiny truck. Probably one on my retro uh, roundup sales over on Vamp. And then I love these little calendars. I don't know if they're all there. They're on the little easel frames. So if the calendar pieces aren't all there. Oh, are you going to stand? I didn't see. Okay, yeah, you're going to stand. And then there's this one. You know, you can... They just have a cool look to them. I don't know. I like it. Does this have a year on it? 30 days. Well, depends on the year. But I don't know. I just like them. So that's what I got. But there's a lot of great things there. So if you're going to be in the Bedford, Indiana area, make sure that you come to the auction. And I'll link all the information down in the description. So it's Tuesday. I'm getting ready to have my... I have two sales on Tuesday. I'm getting ready to have those here in about a half an hour. So I'm going to put these items away and then have my sale on YouTube here. Then go get me a refresher or a drink, run up here and have my vamp sale. So these are a lot of the things that I've been pulling together for the retro roundup. Like there's figment, I've got pound puppies, I've got trolls, kusas. So that is going to be a regular sale, probably once a month. And then I've got tiny treasures, but this is where I'm having my vamp sale. I've got that sale is um, going to be tomorrow. By the time you're watching this, that sale is over. But some of these girls might be available in the buy it now. Because over on vamp, if something doesn't sell during the live sale, then it will be relisted as a buy it now. So you can go in and you can purchase it and not have to be at the live sale. All right, I am going to get ready for the sale. I do have some friend mail, so I'm probably gonna extend the vlog into tomorrow, and when we get to the shop tomorrow, before shipping and before my sale, we will um, we'll open up some friend mail. Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday here. It's actually, you're watch, actually watching this on Monday, but it's, I've, I filmed ahead, some vlogs ahead, and this one's still going to be ahead, and then probably next week I'll be back on, you know, putting the vlogs up on the same week, but I wanted to work a little bit ahead this week. I just got to the shop. Uh, I, it's Starbucks Wednesday. I went to Starbucks yesterday too, but I went to Starbucks, but I, I went to Starbucks yesterday, but I also went to Starbucks today. I got some boxes delivered that I have to put on my shelf and today I have to do shipping but I also have some friend mail to open not a lot not a lot but we'll um, we'll open up some friend mail today and then I, I got I gotta do shipping I got a sale from five to six on vamp and I have to ship some items from vamp and then when I come into the shop tomorrow I've got to, I'll have to film some more videos for the Misty Show, and I've got to, I have another sale. So it's a, it's a, it's been another crazy busy week. And next week, I am not being as busy. I'm having my two, no, I take that back. I think I'm doing three sales next week. I think I am. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I'm, I'm only gonna do the two sales. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm going to get everything set up to open up this friend mail, and then I'm gonna get started on shipping, 
and then I'll pop in at some point to do something else with you. I don't know. I'm like, I'm not been in a, I've been like in a really weird headspace this week. I don't know what it is. I haven't been focused, which is a good thing why I vlogged and stuff ahead. Cause I've just not been real focused lately and I don't know what it, the deal is, but hopefully we'll get back on track soon. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Hi everybody. Happy Thursday. This is the third day that I've been working on this vlog. Remember the days and I just do all a vlog all in one day? Well, that's not this week. I'm telling you, I've been a little out of my head this week. It's also kind of cold today. But I had I had two sales on eBay. Not they were itty bitty little sales, but sales nonetheless so we're gonna be appreciative of every single one because it has been a little it's been a rough summer i think i kind of know why but we won't get into that today all right what did i well one of the things are down here my gosh i was kind of hoping they all would have sold i dug these out from the bins like a year ago i got a lot of these so they just bought one pack one pack oh sorry you can't even see one pack of bells and I got more. One pack of bells. They're bistol, but that sold. And I, a, a belt buckle. Those are pogs. Remember those? Oh, I should maybe bring those to. I might bring those to my sale today. You're watching this on Monday, so I the sale will be over. But I'm doing a retro roundup. Look at that. That is fun in a box down there. But I've got all these like little retro. Look at how happy. So maybe I'll add these paw. Are they called pongs? Pogs. That's. Who are you? You're a big wrestler. I think you're Batman. 1993. I'll take those off of eBay. See if somebody chooses those. Probably should look through some of this stuff that I've. Like those could go maybe. I don't know. These. Maybe we'll take these down too. Okay, I gotta, let me focus on what I'm over here doing and that's finding this belt buckle. No, it's not you. It's you. Basketball, sports, sports, sports. So these two things sold on eBay. Now, another thing that I need to do today, and again, you're watching this on Monday, uh, but it's gonna be too late by the time I put this up. I gotta go through some of this Christmas stuff because I'm having a buyer's choice sale on Monday of all vintage Christmas. And like I said, my mind has been up in outer space. And I actually forgot that I was even doing that sale until yesterday. So, yeah, I don't know. I will ship these. But you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up some friend mail. It's actually over there now. I got to do shipping. I sold, I sold things yesterday during my vamp sale and I've got another sale this afternoon and I'll combine the shipping for those. So tomorrow will be another shipping day, but I'm printing, getting ready to print off some more labels of things from Tuesday sale. I think that's a lot of it. I had a lot of sales this week. I, one thing about me, let me tell you one thing about me. Maybe you already know this. Let me get a drink. One thing about me is I have a hard time saying no. I do. I have a hard time saying no. And I, what happens if you have a hard time saying no is that you get yourself overwhelmed. And I think that's where I'm at right now. So, you know, with VAMP, Virtual Antique Marketplace, which is the marketplace that I, I own. It is a, an online antique mall. I talk about it all the time. So if you're new here, it's virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Right now we have over 200 sellers. We have onboarding on Monday where we'll, I'll, I will be adding on probably another 30 sellers or so. I do vet, I personally vet every single seller that has applied. I have over 700 applications right now. If you've applied a long time ago and you're like, I'm, I'm waiting to hear something, send me an email. 
I honestly appreciate people that, or send me a DM through VAMP or Instagram or wherever, but I do appreciate people that are like, hey, I, I put in an application just checking on it. You know, that goes a long way because it's overwhelming and I need to, I, I gotta, I have to maintain my own personal business as well as that. And it can be a little overwhelming. Not only that is I personally take on the stress. Like if people, maybe they have a live sale or things aren't selling that I internalize and take all of that on. And I think that's some of the reason why lately I've been feeling so stressed out is because, you know, I am fueled by iced coffee and anxiety and it gives me anxiety. It really, really does. But I also have to come to the terms that I could only do so much. Um, I talk about vamp all of the time. Every package I put out, it's vamp related. Everything I do, I, I, well, I'm doing all I can do. Um, there are things like if, if people, if sellers aren't selling things or people aren't coming to their sales, yada, 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 that isn't something that I can personally take on. Um, because what have they done? Have they promoted? Have they, do they have a social media where they can promote? I mean, it all does matter. Um, I'm not saying that you have to have some big, huge following, but you know, having an Instagram, having a Facebook, um, does help promote your sales. And also I do notice that if, if there are sales going on and there's a sale scheduled and the seller hasn't listed anything in their catalog before the sale, that matters. I know that people, sorry, I'm having a boba and I got the boba in my mouth. Everybody's why is different as far as reselling. Some people, they're just doing it as a hobby. You know, it's just a way to make a little bit extra money. It's fun. They like to go out and find the stuff and clean it and curate it and have a sale. It's fun. I get it. They work a nine to five. They've got other stuff that they've got going on. But I honestly don't really like the excuse of, well, I work a nine to five, so I didn't have time. When, you know, if you are self-employed, you work from the time that you get up to the time that you go to bed. Sometimes you're even working in your dreams. So everything in my life honestly gets put on hold because of, you know, trying to maintain, you know, a business, a couple businesses, three, four, five business. So, I mean, it, it, I don't, I used to really take heed to that. Well, I work a nine to five. Well, so does the rest of us. But, well, so I guess I, I guess what I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to do for myself is not internalize and take on other people's success it, whatever is for them, whatever makes sense to them, it needs to be okay. And I need to not be upset about it and or feel bad about it, even though I will and I do. But all right, let's do an affirmation because I think I need one today. It's been a weird week. We haven't done one since the 2nd of August and we are now on the 8th. Maybe this is, I'm slipping on this. You guys have told me too, hey, I missed the affirmations. Yeah, but affirmation warning because some people don't like these. All right, August 8th, an exercise in self-kindness. Okay, we needed this one today. Treat yourself, eat well, relax, move more slowly, be kind. Spend 10 minutes writing a few kind words about yourself on small pieces of paper. Place these notes in unexpected places like in your wallet on your bathroom cabinet, and in your favorite coffee mug. Finding them later will offer, remi will offer reminders of how extraordinarily you truly are. You know, I'm going to one-up this a little bit. I think that it would be really even more special if you did this with a partner. It could be a best friend. It could be your, you know, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, son, daughter, whoever, to do that to each other. So maybe like I could sit down with Mark and write these little notes about the things that I love about him and vice versa. And we can hide them. And then I think that might be even better. Even though self, being self-kind, I know is important. But I don't know. I also want to read this. This was from August 7th. So we're going to break the rules. But I like this quote. It's from Paulo Cholo. Saying that name wrong. I'm going to show you the name. 
See? Oh wait, there he is, right there. I said that really wrong. It says the simple things are also the most extraordinary things and only the wise can see them. That is so true. Simple things are the extraordinary things. And I think we get so wrapped up in, so, you know, posting and social media and la da da. Well, you were losing out and you're forgetting the, the things in your life that really matter. You know? I don't know. All right, I'm going to pick a daily affirmator. Hopefully, this one will be good because these have been a little generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there is more than enough to go around, and that the key is to follow and keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. Don't be that one person at the stadium that doesn't do the wave. Boring. Well, we're going to get those shipped. We're going to open up the friend mail. And then I will eventually end this three-day vlog. <sighs> oh, don't forget that the auction over at John's is on August. I wrote it down. August 18th. And it starts at 1 p.m. I don't know that I'm going to be over there. It's just right around the corner from where my shop is. Um, but if you are looking for some things, they've got a lot of amazing things in there and I will put all everything down in the description. Um, but try to come if you are able try to come. Dad will be there. So if you want to meet dad, he'll be there, which reminds me too: the pop-up December 7th, all vintage Christmas. And I'll make the announcement here. Who's going to be here? Are you ready? It is going to be me. It's going to be Michael. It's going to be Fat Birds. It's going to be Barb, Wicking Owl Antiques. And it's going to be Enamor Amy, Jason and Tina from Other Tuckers, and Garden Guy Bill. Yeah. So we are working on some things for a Friday night flipping and sipping. Um, we're kind of working on, or we've talked about some things. We need to like really talk about them and plan them a little bit more. Um, and so that's coming up on December 7th and that there's a lot of things going on in Bedford on that day. That is the Christmas parade. There will be food, but it'll be very much like what was going on in June, but it'll be December. So wear a coat, um, but the parade is at night. It's fantastic. So it was just a lot of fun. And so this whole shop behind me here, and we're going to start working on that, on it sooner rather than later, will be converted into Christmas. So I've got to, I probably will start moving where I'm having, because right now my sale's here. And I've actually sold a lot of the things that were, that I had in the pop-up. All right, well, I'm going to get this, the eBay orders shipped. I'm going to open up the friend mail. I need to edit a video and then I have a sale later on. And I got to pull some Christmas stuff for Monday. Hi. I'm finally getting around to opening up this friend mail. Joyce from Jersey, I forgot your knife. Mark showed me how to use it, so I think I figured, figured it out, but did I forget? Yeah, I did. I forgot it at home, but I will bring it, so I'm still using these horrible scissors that are very dull, but I will be using that knife. He showed me. It was much easier than what I thought that it was. I don't know why I had so much problems with it. Okay, so this is, first one, it says it's from the Shabby Tree Boutique, so I know that Shannon Ferrara, oh wait, I never, I always forget that I have this. Let me plug it in or turn it on. Hang on. Well, it's not plugged in. You can't even read it. Well, it says good vibes. But you can't even see what it says. Oh, well, I know that it's there. It makes me happy. All right, this is from Shannon Ferrara. And she supported another small business, the Shabby Tree Boutique on Etsy. And she sent me something. She has sent me other things before from them, and they've always been so, so nice. So, Shabby Tree Boutique. There it is. Thank you, Shannon Ferrara. I appreciate it. I can't wait. I even use these bags too. It's really nice. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. 
This speaks to my soul, Shannon. It speaks to my soul because this is what I'm longing for. I think that's some of my problem. I'm just longing for exactly this adventure. And adventure is out there. 2025 is going to be a completely different year for me. I don't know how I'm going to do it all, but I am. I already, I'm going to Ireland in May. A lot of you are going with me, but guess what? Guess what? We're going to, we're, I'm going to say we're going to Ireland. We're going to Ireland in May, but I'm going to be launching signups very, very soon, but we're going to Italy in, I think, August. Italy. Not only just Italy, Pompeii. Freaking Pompeii. Not Dr. Bombay, but Pompeii. You know, the volcano? That's like, uh, that has been an absolute dream of mine to go to Pompeii. So we're going to go to Pompeii. And you can go with us. More details will be coming later, but we're going to be going to Italy. We're going to be eating. We're going to be exploring. We're going to go to some flea markets. We're going to go to some vintage shops. We're going to dive into the history and eat. I cannot wait. I'm also going to Disney World and Disneyland in 2025. But I'm, I'm there for it because Shannon is giving me the reason adventure and I'm all for it. I turned 50 in 2025 and we just went blurry. Hang on. Are we back? <gasps> Why did we go blurry? Why are we blurry? Hang on. I don't know what that was all about, but I turned 50 in 2025. Mark turns 50 in just a couple months, but I, I don't until 2025. But I, I, I'm, 50 is going to be a big deal. It's going to be, I'm always going to remember when I turn 50. So we're doing it up. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, Shanna, for sending that. Because that's exactly what I needed to hear. I'm so excited. I'm for adventure. Adventure and weights. All right. So this next one is from Effie. Oh, she lives in Michigan. Effie. I don't know how to say your last name without completely ruining it. Here is her package. Did you send me a CD? Kind of feels like a CD. Did you send me a mixtape, Effie? What did you send? Oh my, oh, I see cheese. Look at how nice that is. Look, there's cheese. What's that say? That's so cheesy. Look at the little, the little, um, you're not a starfish, you're a seahorse. Little seahorse clip. We'll untie this twine. Oh my gosh, it says Misty. That's me. <gasps> Just a little thank you. That little, that's a gerbil, right? Not a hamster. Oh my gosh. This says, Dearest Misty, hello from the UP of Michigan. <gasps> that's one of my favorite places. I love the UP. I actually have a shirt that says UP yours. But it looks like it says. Anyway. Um, I wanted to send you a Bigfoot for your sticker table. Yes. I also included some greeting cards to do with As You Witch. Which I probably will use as package shoppers. Or I'll send them as greeting cards. Um, wishing you love and laughter. Effie and Mike. Effie, we will go. We will. I want to take it out of here. And well, we'll just go do it here in a minute. Because I will forget. So Effie sent us a Bigfoot. That's of the UP. There's Bigfoots up there. That's what they say. What's this little card? This says, oh, license plate art. Misty, I was out and about and I saw a life-size Bigfoot yard art made with license plates, just like this fish. Dang, 300 to $500. We got a lot of license plates. Maybe I'd be like, Mark, you should make these. He'll be like, I don't want to cut up my license plates. That's pretty cool. Oh, I still want, I didn't get it for my birthday this year. Maybe I'll get it for my 50th birthday. I want a Bigfoot wooden yard statue. Or not even have to be concrete. Probably concrete would be better. I want one for my yard. Look at all of these cards. They're all vintage greeting cards. That one's wedding. Oh my gosh, these are great. Just a variety of general greeting cards. Well, I will use those as greeting cards 
or I'll use them as package choppers. And then people can, you know, if they order something, then they're like, hey, I needed that card. I'll reuse that. And then they can send it to somebody else and brighten somebody else's day. Okay, we did it, Effie. All right, we're gonna go put this on our sticker table. That Bigfoot is Bigfooting all over the UP. Okay. Oh, I gotta twitch us around. Okay, well, look, I had to use Vicky. Vicky, I need a sticker. I had to use your, I taped it. See, I taped it. Vicky, I need a sticker from you. The pink peacock, the Las Vegas pink peacock. All right, we're gonna put you, we'll put you right next to Vicky. There, Bigfoots of the UP. It's just gonna take a little bit of time to fill up that big table, but thank you. All right, let's go over here. I'll put it real fast. And we'll plop you down. And then let's see, but thank you, Effie. That was very, very sweet. Oh, whoops. There we go. And I'll reuse all of this stuff, except for that. That's the back of the sticker. We won't use that. All right, this is from Miss Heather House. And she lives in Kentucky. She's my neighbor. Michigan's my neighbor, too. Yeah. Do not bend. Okay. Do not bend. Oh, and she also says, stay weird. Heather. Heather House. Let's all go to Heather's house. Okay. Put that there. This is a letter. Oh, my goodness. This is a long letter. As she says, just letting you know how much I enjoy your videos and your inspirations. You have welcomed so many people into your daily lives. We have gotten to know your family, friends, and watched your business grow. You have encouraged others to keep doing what we love to do, whether it's growing our own collections, becoming a seller, making us feel worthy of ourselves in swimsuits, or just laughing to scare away the, mu the moody blues. We appreciate your weird self, so don't ever change. Enclosed is something that you collect, so I hope you enjoy it. Please know, please tell your family, including the furry ones, that I said hello. P.S. Check out where the enclosed item is, is from, Heather House. Heather, you're going to make me cry. I've been feeling a really, I don't know, I've just been feeling all over the place lately. And, and I, re I see every single comment. I do. I, I'm behind on like hearting them or commenting on them but I do my best to go in as often as I can and I do look at them and read them and though the, the things that you guys say is what keeps me going there have been many times and I've like I don't want to deal with the stress anymore and I just want to you know do something that's simple that's not like a constant constant all the time but then you guys keep me going you really really do so thank you so 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 very much all right heather what did she send i feel like i'm doing surgery on this heather oh yes i do and she said check where this is from oh that there's a holiday hotel motel did you say it this is from Kokomo, Indiana. Way down in Kokomo, Aruba, Jamaica, but no, Indiana. Um, we actually used to drive through Kokomo quite often when we lived up in South Bend, but now they've built the interstate that completely goes around Kokomo, which honestly is kind of nice because there were a lot of stoplights that you'd have to go through, but I'm certain that this is no longer there. But look at that sign. They need to bring that holiday in. Are you watching? <laughs> Are you watching Holiday Inn? You need to bring the sign back. Just the sign. You can keep your modern buildings. That's fine. We like the modern buildings, but you need to bring that sign back. Let me say, yeah, Holiday Inn. Bring the sign back in the comments if you agree, because that is iconic. The nice thing about Holiday Inn, we stay at a lot of Holiday Inns. The nice thing about Holiday Inn is that they are very cookie cutter. So you know, for the most part, that it's good and it's clean and you got a good breakfast and yada, yada, yada. But thank you, Heather. And thank you for your sweet words. It really does mean a lot. It really, really does. Okay. Over there. Next we have, this is from, well, that's covering that. What does this say up there? Lindy. Ooh, Lindy Lynn. Oh, I thought that said Rancho Cucamonga. I love saying that word, Rancho Cucamonga. 
I, I would love to live in that city just so I could say the name of it. California. So Lindy lives in California. Not my neighbor, but look at how beautiful. I'll cover up your address, Lindy. Look at how beautiful that is. I love that. I don't want to, I don't want to tear into that. That's really pretty. All right, Lindy, Lindy, you're a fine girl. What a good wife you will be. Are you a wife, Lindy? Oh, wow, Lindy. I'm sure I got everything. Look at that. Misty with butterflies. That's so cute. It's a little folder. <gasps> okay, I open up the card for that's a little that's a little file. They have decorated file folders. Boy, I have been out of the loop. But I didn't know that. Wow, I will reuse that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look. She put a Katie Vintage and Vinyl little seal stamp on there. Emma just got these for her wedding invitations. Friend, keep your friends close and your snacks closer. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you have the prettiest handwriting. Misty, sending you something that I hope you will like to have. I was recently cleaning a relative's house who had over the who had over the years become a major hoarder. I mean, we all know someone like that. Sometimes that's us. Um, and came across these stamps. Enjoy and do what you always do. Make people happy. Lindy, who live, who in, Lindy is on Instagram. L L H D C H one is Lindy. All right, Lindy. These are great. They are uncut. Okay, these are cool because look, it's a whole sheet. It's my other boyfriend. I got lots. I got lots of boyfriends. Look at Elvis. I'm obsessed with Elvis. I like, I'm currently listening to yet another Elvis audiobook. I think I've listened to all of them. I'm on pins and needles waiting for the Priscilla, not the Priscilla, the Lisa Marie one. I pre ordered it on audiobook. I, it, I think October is when it comes out, but I'm excited about that one. It's Lisa Marie's, with the help of Riley, it's her like story, you know. Anyway. That is uncut, and look, the cool thing is we also have the postmark from when these stamps were released, January 8th, 1993. I have the James Dean ones. Now I have the Elvis ones. I think I'm probably gonna put those in a frame, Lindy. The, they did so good with those. The James Dean ones are nice, but these are like bright and colorful and fun. The James Dean ones are very, you know, kind of sullen and serious. And those are a lot of fun. Well, thank you, Lindy. That was so sweet. I love that. Um, I got I got to organize. Let me organize real quick. All right, now we're organized. All right, next we have this. We only have two more. I know some of you don't like these friend mail things, but sorry, I can't. Can't please everybody all the time to do everything what everybody wants. And people don't like the affirmations. People don't like the the non-shopping videos. People don't like the friend mail videos. People don't like, people like the opening of things. People don't like the opening of things. People like to, for when I'm opening things to see my face. Some people don't. So you just never know. So you just got to just do what you, you just got to do it. You just got to do it. So this is from Charlotte. She lives in Ohio. All my neighbors are sending me things. Charlotte is my neighbor. What did you send? Charlotte. What did you send, my neighbor? Ooh, that's beautiful. Wow. It's like one of those like intricately cut little cards. Hi, Misty. This was my mom's, and I just can't find a new home for it. I'm hoping you have better luck than I did. Thank you so much for all the videos. Charlotte. Hutchinson from Ohio. Ohio. Did I do it right? I don't know if I did it right. I need to figure out. Stephanie, when I see you next, Stephanie Kite, you need to you need to show me how to do that. All right, Charlotte. I love this, but I already have it. If any, when you see it, you're going to be like, well, of course you do. But we'll find a home for it. Don't you worry. Actually, this one might be in a little bit better condition than the one that I have. But doesn't everybody need one of these in their lives? 
I'm just going to take this plastic wrap off because it's almost fallen off anyway. But it's like in mint condition. If you need this in your home for Christmas, for the holidays, they're coming. It's Merry Twistmas with Conway Twitty and Santa. See? Santa's got his blue jeans on from Conway Twitty and his little friends. So all these look. Oh, look, there's Twitty City. The Twitty City birds. They're going down Santa Claus Lane. Look at that. We got Conway and the Twitty birds. Because Twitty City was a thing. It's no longer a thing. And let me tell you, if you find Twitty City merch, get it. Because it sells for quite a bit of money. Well, some of it does. But look, they're, it's like they're on Main Street USA in uh, Twitty City. Windy, the singing wind. Oh, look. That there's the ding -a -ling. There's the ding -a -ling. That's what it says. See? Wait, where'd it go? Right there. Ding a ling. Oh, look, there's Snowbell. What the heck is Snowbell? Are you a cat? I don't know any of these critters. We have the Snow Witch. I like her. <laughs> this is great. What well, is the inside? Oh my goodness. Music Makers Workshop. Look at Conway Twitty. I'll never forget. Mark tells me a story when he was a little boy and they they went to little uh, Nashville here in Indiana with his grandma and grandpa and they saw Conway Twitty in concert and his grandpa was disgusted because all these ladies kept throwing their panties on the stage for Conway. Fun fact about me too is I had a cat. He, he passed away. Um, his name, he was a yellow or, or an orange cat. His name was Conway Twitty Kitty. I named him after, I like to use country western names for my pets, but this is fantastic. Except for him. Why do you have to add a clown? A clown is not Christmas. That's not Christmas. But hey, I love it. I already have this, but I honestly, I might keep the, well, I usually don't. I usually keep the ones that aren't in the best condition and, and we'll try to find a home for this one, but that's pretty amazing. Everybody should have this for the holiday season. Thank you, Charlotte. And of course, I'm, here's the thing though, Charlotte. Here's the thing. I'm thrilled to death that you saw this and you were like, you know who would like that? Misty. See, that just makes me happy. <laughs> that alone just makes me happy. All right, I know what this is. This was sent to me by my buddy Gerald. I tried to buy it and then they refunded my money. So, because he's, yeah. Gerald is Emmeline Darlene. Emmeline Darlene from YouTube, from Vamp. That is her husband. He is the sweetest, kindest guy. Um, and, you know, for a man like Gerald or like Mark to be married to a woman like me and like Emmeline, they got to have a lot of patience. And they do. They do. And we are going on a trip with them to Disney World in January and I can't wait. So Gerald, they, Gerald made this and Emmeline showed it in one of her ramp sales and I bought it and then they refunded my money. So, but I wanted to show, I wanted to open it and show it to you. Oh my gosh, Emmeline, you packed it so good. Let me, not scissors. But Gerald makes these and if you are interested in something similar to it, you know, you could just message Emmeline um, and she can, you know, she, she can work something out with you. But I loved this. I think it's so great. Look at this. So it's on. Oh, uh, I told him he needed to sign it to Misty from Gerald. So it's on wood and he put a hanger. But look at how fantastic this is with this like vintage style graphic. Hot coffee. And then we've got our like vintage coffee pot. Hot coffee served here. Isn't that great? I love that. I'm going to take that home and hang it up in my kitchen. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Repurposing this, this old wood and making it into art that people can hang in their houses. I think that it's fantastic. So thank you, Gerald. I would have paid for it, dang it. I tried to buy it, but he refunded my money. You're a stinker. I'm going to take that home with me. Okay, so 
that that was uh, three days worth of little snippets. I'm gonna try to get back it, it, back in the swing of things. Uh, but like I said, Monday, I'm putting this video up early, but Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern, I'll be starting off the Monday Christmas and August parade, but there are more parades, Christmas and August parades that start on Sunday, Sunday night, which is already passed. <laughs> but anyway, um, basically go on the vamp and look at the live sales and see what's going on. There's always things going on. There's always People are always listing things. There's always new things getting listed. You can make offers. You can um, heart an item and maybe the seller will then send you an offer. You can um, make an offer to the seller as well if you see something that you're interested in. But it's just, um, you know, it just, we're, it's a new marketplace. So just trying to get people to know about it is the key. So spread the word. Help us spread the word. Um, and, um, we, I, we would appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna go. Have no fear, because I have a sale Tuesday at one o'clock with Michael the Cult of Vintage, and I have a sale 5 p.m. Eastern on Vamp, and it is Tiny Treasures Buyer's Choice. And then I am going to take a step back and just, just focus on my normal two sales, because with Emma getting married, I really want to not be like this, you know? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like in my daughter's getting married mode and things might just be put on the back, about to the back porch, but the back pedal a little bit. Um, so, but thank you guys for hanging out and hanging in there. I don't know, I'm gonna do an Amazon or honeymoon and I got, because Emma edits my Misty Show videos. That's why the Misty Show videos are so much better than the vlog videos because she edits them. I mean, I pay her to edit them, but she edits those videos for me because I was drowning. <laughs> I was drowning. And so she threw in the life preserver and said, hey mom, if you pay me, I'll edit those videos for you. And she does an amazing job. So anyway, I'm gonna go. I've rambled long enough. This is a long video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks again. And thank you for sticking around and understanding. But you guys are so awesome. Thank you guys again so much. Make sure that you're subscribed too if you're not subscribed. Also make sure that you're subscribed to the Misty Show because I'm very close to 20,000 subscribers over there. That's gonna, that's just makes, makes me so happy. I don't know. There's just a goal that I had for myself, but I'm almost there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah! Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Do you love shopping? I love shopping, specifically for vintage and antiques, but sometimes it's hard to get out and about with our busy lives. But I tell you what, there is a new way to shop for vintage and antiques, and that is at virtualantiquemarketplace.com, otherwise known as VAMP. There are over 9,000 active listings by over 200 trusted, vetted sellers that is guaranteed to ship your items within three business days of your purchase. It's fast, it's fun, it's all curated, true vintage and antiques over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I am Misty and I am one of the owners. We would love to have you come over, become a member, it's totally free, and jump into these live sales, static sales, support small businesses over on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Come on over and join in on the fun. Red Hot Mama, Red Hot Mama, you're the one we need. Red Hot Mama, some charmer, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Svengali's. I confess that I possess the sweetest charm.